in the name of Allah, most beneficent, most merciful, most gracious, and the source of all knowledge. Also, you are safe and sound at your homes and be enjoying your online classes. Second session. So, this is our science class for grade 7. My name is Emir Zabdi. In our previous lecture, we have studied about the aqua solution and we have defined a solution in which water is used as a solvent. That solution is known as aqua solution. After in the nature of water, what is the different nature of the solutions? Also, we have defined the actual mass of solutions. Actually, the sum of uh, the solution is actually sum of the mass of solvent and the mass of solute as well. After this, we have seen the uses of solvents and solutions in the different field of life. So here we have firstly a picture related to the aqua solution. After this, we have the solution, and in the last thing, we end with the picture of uses of solution and the solvents. Okay. In our today's lecture, we will learn about the concentrated solution dilute solution saturated solution and solubility so uh, let's have a look upon the dilute solution concentrated solution and saturated solution and uh, after this we will learn the solubility so first solution is a dilute solution is formed when a small amount of solute is dissolved in given amount of solvent it is very much necessary these words are very necessary this amount of solute kisi jo hai wo pore ke solvent ki miqdar ke andar jab usko dissolve kiya jata hai to is tarike se jo solution dilute solution banta hai i am repeating it again the solution that is formed when a small amount of solute is dissolved in the given amount of solvent as you can see uh, the sky blue is showing the amount of solvent that is in the excess quantity of the red uh, tiny particles are showing the amount of solute that are very less in number okay from the figure you also can see a small amount of solute is dissolved in the given amount of solute so the solution formed is actually known as dilute solution after this we we have concentrated solution according to the earth a concentrated solution is formed when a large amount of solute uh, when there was a dilute solution we were dealing with the small amount of solute but when we are dealing with the concentrated solution a large amount of solute is dissolved in the given amount of so as you can see uh, the red tiny particles are more in number as compared to the dilute that is shown actually a concentrated solution ke iske andar jo hai aapka solute ki miqdar jo hai wo zyada hoti hai solvent ke muqable ke solvent ke dilute solution ke liye se dilute solution mein solute ki miqdar kam hoti hai jabki concentrated solution ke andar aapke paas solute ki miqdar jo zyada hoti hai iske baad saturated solution saturated solution is formed when maximum amount of solute is dissolved in the given amount of solvent बेटा जितने भी आपके पास सोल्यूशन या सॉल्वेंट्स होते हैं उनकी अपने अंदर हर चीज को डिजोल्व करने की एक कैपेसिटी होती है उससे सोलवेंट के अंदर डिजोल्व करते हैं उसके बाद जब आप कंसल्टेशन आ रहे होते हैं तब आप डायल्यूट के मुकाबले थोड़ी ज्यादा मकदार जो है वो सोलवेंट डिजोल्व करते हैं तो आपके पास कंसनट्रेटेड सोल्यूशन बन जाता है और जो सेचुरेटेड सोल्यूशन होता है इसके लिए मैं आपको करने के लिए कहूंगा कि आपने घर के अंदर एक वाटर लेना है ट्रांसपेरेंट ग्लास और ऐड करना है वन स्पून ऑफ शुगर चीनी का एक चम्मच के अंदर ऐड करना शेक इट वेल एंड ट्राई टू डिजोल्व ऑल पार्टिकल द शुगर इन दर और पूरी तरह जब डिजोल्व हो जाएंगे तो फिर आपने क्या करना है कि मजीद एक स्पून जो है वो ऐड कर देना उसके अंदर कंटिन्यूसली भी शेक करें उसको डिजोल्व करने की कोशिश करें एक ऐसा जब आपके पास जितने भी पार्टिकल्स हैं शुगर पार्टिकल वो मजीद में डिजोल्व नहीं होंगे वो आपको ग्लास के नीचे सेटल डाउन करा देंगे ठीक है तो ये वो सिचुएशन वो स्टेट आ जाती है जब उसके अंदर मजीद शुगर वो डिजोल्व नहीं हो रहा सो मैक्सिमम अमाउंट ऑफ सोल्यूट हैजोल्व 
called the solvent. The maximum amount of sugar has been dissolved in a glass of water. Therefore, the stage re, uh, has reached when, say, the solution is actually saturated solution. So these were very important maximum of solute. Repeating again the definition, saturated solution is formed when maximum amount of solute is dissolved in the amount of solute. So here you can see uh, the uh, sorry saturated. Firstly, we have added a single one of water, and secondly, and in the last one, you can see a little change, a very little bit, minor little bit. Uh, you can't distinguish between the water and uh, the saturated solution of sugar. Okay, so uh, try this experiment at your home. This we have. Solubility. solubility is the maximum amount of solute which can dissolve at 100 grams of solvent okay pichle tino definitions you have dilute solution concentrated solution or saturated solution ke andar aapke paas amount of solute jo thi wo uh, vary kar rahi thi kabhi kam ho rahi thi kabhi zyada ho rahi thi aur saturated the maximum pass please definition Solvent must be in 100 grams, not more than 100 grams. So, pehle aapka solvent jo apne 100 to uske maximum amount of solute usko dissolve hai. Aur agar jab aapke paas itna dissolve ho jayega 100 grams, solution aapke paas banega, wo aapke paas solvent ki kaise se kiya. 100 gram solvent ke andar jo hai maximum solute ke miktar dissolve ho jati hai at specific temperature that is known as solubility. So, solubility amount of solute which can dissolve it at, uh, grams of solution at particular temperature okay these four definitions are uh, in our today's lecture so if you have any kind of to these definitions you can ask me i'm there for you thank you very much